Okay, so this is the programmable Binatone Superstar model 014354 there, which I've just um, been given. So I'm just going to try it, see if it works. I've got it plugged into a, a power supply I use for Atari 2600s and ZX81s and so on. I've checked it, it's a positive um, tip. So I've tried tuning it on on TV, but this is the best I'm getting. And it's not a happy bunny. As you can see, um, I can't get it tuned in any better than that. It is tuned, it's getting a picture. It does seem to improve after a little while. Um, so if anyone's got any uh, ideas on some improvements, well, let's hear them. Okay, so this is another <coughs> recent addition to the uh, games room here. I was given this um, Commodore VIC-20. So, yeah, it looks in pretty good condition. So what I'm going to do is try it out. Now, the original power supply is obviously 40 years old, same as the computer. So um, I've decided to use this Commodore 64 one, which I bought a couple of years back. My Commodore 64 um, should work on the VIC-20. And it's... Um, been filled with modern components to make it a lot safer because the old original ones they tend to start drifting on the uh, 5 volt line apparently and they'll kill whatever computer you plug them into so if you've got a Commodore 64 or Vic 20s whatever then uh, consider getting your power supply checked or replaced um, so anyway, yeah I've got this one so that's plugged in and on <coughs> the computer's there plugged into my CRT monitor via <coughs> a lead from Retro Computer Shack, which is um, plugged in there. It's a Commodore 64 one again, but it works with a VIC-20 allegedly. So there's the TV. Let's turn it on. See where we're at. And we're on extension two, which should be those front ports. So, we go down on the side here we've got the switch and does it work yes yes it does so the Commodore VIC-20 is working on the Commodore 64 power supply and leads which is good so um, got a bit of flicker there but we'll get that because that's can't see that in uh, actual vision but that's the camera not in sync with the actual TV output so that's that um yeah uh i suppose we ought to try and maybe do something like dougie Turn and 20. Come on, we all know this one. And hey, there we go. Quick bit of basic. The one we all used to use back in the day, we used to go into Dixon's or uh, wherever they were selling computers. And if we could put this on the screens of whatever computers were there. Um, not this, but we used to put other stuff that used to upset people. Um, so, run stop, break in 20, ready. Okay, so that's the Commodore VIC-20 working so far. So I'm going to 
stop there for a moment and then we've got a couple of other things to try in here so I'll be back shortly okay so I've got a few things with the Commodore Vic 20 um, the count I don't know what that is yet I think this one is called Rat Race or something like that I've got it in there and I didn't read the front of it but never mind because we'll turn it on and see if it works Okay, so how do we load a cartridge then? Or does the cartridge load instantly? Um, don't know, should that be working? Um, I don't know. I'm going to look it up and I'll be back. Okay, we're back again. And uh, the cartridge we've got in there is called Radar Rat Race. Um, tried a few times to get it to work while I was off camera, but now... Hopefully, when I turn on, we should get Radar Rat Race. Yeah, there we go. Very flickery. And it's over to the left somewhat. Never played the game, but let's press F1. F1 to run. Okay. And uh, move PL. got me. I'm trying to play one-handed while I'm holding the camera so okay, I don't know exactly what's going on but there you go um, so that one works I uh, never played a cartridge game on the Vic a cousin of mine had one many years ago when we were all very young and um, yeah, so that's uh, the Vic 20 playing Radar Rat Race, or Vic Rat Race, that says. But yeah, the cartridge works. Um, just while I'm here, when I've just gone through the cartridge, just show some of the other stuff that came with this. Got the user guide, um, Vicsoft, and more Vicsoft stuff, and a personal computer handbook. Uh, C2N set unit. Um, there's also the original box folded down um, and lots and lots of bits and pieces of stuff. So yeah there's um, a box load of stuff there which I will go through and um, let's put that down. Yeah we've got the VIC-20 Color computer, uh, Vic 20 color computer, how to connect your Vic, and um, the Vic 20 color computer. Oh, look at that! Heard a thunk it, a ZX Spectrum piece of uh, merchandising, advertising inside the Vic 20 total computing. So that's um cartridges and floppy disks and stuff and a cassette unit yeah it came with lots of stuff with this I'll put all them together um, yeah as I say the box is there tatty but thank you but yeah in here there's also a it's a bit dark but that's a 16k RAM module I believe according to that switching RAM module, Stone Chip Electronics. And that came in the box with some tape. So I'll probably do um, a tape dive at some point. Uh, like the uh, real generic demon type what's on the tape thingies. And I'll look through those C15s and see what's on them. Uh, give us a comment down below if you'd like to see that. And... Uh, I'm going to do it anyway, so let's not pretend. It doesn't matter how many we get, but it'd be nice to get a few people comment and say, yes, please, let's see those. So, yeah, we'll go through some of this eventually, but as you can see, it came with an Atari joystick as well. Um, I believe that works with the Vic-20s and 
Commodore 64s. So, uh, yeah, that's that for now. And uh, I'll leave it there. But give us a like and a subscribe. Let us know about your uh, experiences with the VIC-20. If you ever had one, did you ever play it? Any games that I should try? And uh, finally, thanks for watching. Bye.